Remember these gel plate prints that we made recently? You know, these are the ones where you put down the black ink, you lay the magazine image over it, you peel it up, and then the image transfers in black onto your gel plate, and then you paint over it with another color and lift the print and the paint both off the page, right? Remember that? I'll put a link to that video so you can see what I'm talking about if you don't remember. But, looks cool. Now you um, may not have used black ink if you tried this. You may not have used black ink to transfer your image. You can use any color. I happen to use black ink because I like the way that it looked. But what that means is that I was left with a bunch of these. <laughs> These are the pages that I transferred from, and they're just covered with black ink. I did find that on some of them, especially the ones that are on glossy coated papers, I was able to spray them with alcohol and wipe off the black ink and reuse them, which was great. But it's effort, it's super messy, and for me just, you know, wasn't really worth it. Um, it also doesn't work well on the really not coated magazine pages that, you know, the paper's just too thin and kind of tears. So I've got this whole stack of these black pages and was trying to think of some way to use them. And I remembered this technique that we did probably 15 or 20 years ago. It was a Vaseline resist. And it, it ended up making this sort of chippy paint look. We didn't even, like, chippy paint wasn't even a thing <laughs> then. I think we called it weathered wood or something, even though it's pink. <laughs> but, you know, you just use the Vaseline as a resist and um, paint over it, and it ends up kind of chippy like this. And it's really, I, I think it looks really cool, and it's, you almost just can't get the same look with a brush or, or applying the paint in any other way. It's just got this really cool, random, splotchy thing going on. So that's what I've been doing with these. And um, like I said, it's not a new technique, but you may not have seen it before. So I thought I would show you how to do that. So what you're gonna need are some pages. And honestly, you can do this on anything. I'm using these because I've got them. And you know, rather than throw them out, I decided I'd use them. You can do it over a regular magazine. You can do it over uh, plain cardstock. You can do it on white paper. Just know that whatever the base layer is, whether it's a, a magazine print or a solid color, it's going to show through. That's what's going to be resisted, I guess, is the term. I don't know. But your background will show through. Um, but you can use what you want. So, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use these black painty papers. You're also going to need some Vaseline. Um, I don't know what this is called in different countries because I think Vaseline is the brand name or something, but it's just petroleum jelly. It is um, white petrolatum is all this is. So if you live in another country, you don't have Vaseline, you probably have some kind of petrolatum that you can buy at your drugstore or your chemist or your, the supermarket, it's usually on the baby aisle, you know, it, it's easy to come by. You're also going to need some acrylic paint, and I am using these fabulous DecoArt Americana Craft Acrylics. That's all you need. And I've got a lot of them here just because I like a lot of choices. You don't need a lot of them, you really just need one technically. <laughs> it just depends on how many colors you want to do. <laughs> And you're going to need um, soft brushes. I like this kind for this. You know, it's not a huge brush, but it's, it's, it's what is that? Three quarters of an inch wide, maybe? I don't know. And they're nice and soft. You do need them to be soft, and I'll tell you why. Um, and probably some paper towels. So, here's what you do. This is super simple. You take your whatever you're using for a background. Oh, you're going to need something to apply your Vaseline. I'm using an old credit card. Um, you can use a palette knife. You can use a brush. I, I just like the look 
that this card gives me. And what I do is just put a little on the end of the card, like that, and then I'm going to run this down the card, and I'm kind of just dragging it and kind of pressing up, down, up, down, up, down as I go. Just pressure, let up, pressure, let up, pressure, let up, so that it's really splotchy. See how splotchy? I've got naked areas, you want naked areas, and then I've got gooey areas. <laughs> and that's what you do. So, and just depending on how you apply it and what tool you use, you'll get a different look. Just make sure that you have some areas that don't have Vaseline on them and then some areas that do. I'm gonna do that again, just kind of up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Okay, change direction so that, you know, you don't accidentally make a pattern. You want it random. And that is all you need to do to create the resist. Okay, so it's thin in some areas, it's thick in other areas, and then it's completely absent in some areas. And that is what you want. Then you're going to take your paint color of your choice, whatever that happens to be. How about this lovely coral color? Because that's pretty. You can use one color. You can use a lot of colors. You can be kind of fussy about where you apply it, or you can just throw it on there. Whatevs. Here's what I'm going to do. This one, I'm just going to put a few drops on here like that randomly. Perfect randomness. <laughs> I'm going to take my brush, just a little damp because I've been making a bunch of these today. And then you're just going to brush this. Okay, here's what you want to make sure that you don't do. You don't want to pick up the Vaseline and drag it with you. So you need to have a very light touch and I usually just use the flat of the brush to keep me from picking stuff up. Shall we move in a little bit? Let's move in a little, not too much. There we go. Move in a little bit closer so you can see that I'm just kind of laying it flat and dragging the paint. I don't want to pick up too much of the Vaseline and drag it because then it's just going to coat my whole page and completely defeat the purpose of what we're doing. You want to wipe off kind of frequently in case you've got some Vaseline on your brush. Now you can switch colors or not. I'm going to switch colors and I'm going to use Cinnamon Drop. And spread, spread, spread gently. You do want to kind of pick colors that get along good, you know, unless you're going to be fussy about where you apply. You don't want to be making mud. And you want to pretty much cover your whole thing here. I'm going to go in with this. Um, it's called Citron Green, but it really wants to be yellow. So it, it behaves more like yellow than green. And it gets along okay with these reds and oranges. I'll put a little bit of that just here and there on some of the black areas. I really can't tell if these black areas are blank areas or if they are where the Vaseline has resisted the paint and I'm looking through the Vaseline. I can't tell. And it doesn't matter. I'll just put some of this on. We'll see what happens. Okay. Now the hard part for me, you gotta let this dry. <laughs> and you can hit it with your heat gun, but you want to make sure that you kind of hold it far away and just gently heat it 
because the Vaseline is going to melt really fast, and if it just starts to melt and run, you're going to have a mess. You know, it's going to you're going to have more resisting than painting, and it's going to be a problem. But give it a little heat, set it aside, and just let it dry. It needs to be good and dry, otherwise when you take the paint off, you're going to scrape wet paint over your resisted areas and end up painting them, and that's not going to work. So I have a couple that I mm -hmm. painted earlier, and they've been drying. They're actually very dry, so let's see how these are going to work. All right, this one, I applied the Vaseline pretty thin on it and then thin coats of paint. So let's see how this goes. After your paint has completely dried, let's move out there. You take your card scraper or you can just use a paper towel. I find this is a little less messy to use the card scraper first. And then you just, I'm pressing down really hard, scrape away the paint that is on top of the Vaseline. And that's what creates your chippy, cool look. It's just super random and fun. I take the, a paper towel and just wipe off any excess Vaseline that might still be on there. Now the Vaseline that um, was directly onto your paper, you know, it's going to soak into the paper if, if your paper's not coated. You can do this on coated or uncoated. But it's going to kind of soak into the paper fibers. And I have not had a problem with it um, resisting any other paint that I put on top or glue. Um, it's just not been a problem as long as you wipe it off good. It's sort of a catch-22. You could, you know, wet this and wipe it off. That will do you no good because Vaseline and water don't mix. It, it's just not going to help. To really remove the Vaseline, you need a solvent, which is also going to remove your paint. <laughs> so you're kind of stuck. <laughs> if you find that you're, you're painting on top of this or trying to glue something down and it's not working, you might need to hit it with a spray sealer. Um, or maybe even a fixative would work. But like I said, it's not been a problem for me. I did, I've started on this page. I did this earlier. And I glued down this collage piece that I made, which was on a photograph, uh, you know, photograph paper, whatever that is. And then it had some collage around it and painted. And then I did my chippy background and I glued this whole thing on just with Mod Podge and it's fine. It's glued on. It's not coming off. Um, it's not peeling. So yeah, the Vaseline that was left on this did not affect that at all. So you should be fine. Now, I think I have one more to peel and show mm -hmm. you. This one, I used um, more Vaseline on this. It's kind of thick and more paint as well, but the paint is dry. The shiny parts that you see are the um, Vaseline where it ran when I tried to <laughs> speed it up with my heat gun. Yeah, I remember how I told you to be careful with that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll take my card and press down hard and scrape. Yeah, I think I scraped off some of the black. Well, that's actually kind of cool. Got all the goo off. Now, wipe it down good. I 
though that looks really cool and I think I'm pretty sure that that black paint scraped off in some areas probably because I had the Vaseline so thick and I think that just looks awesome so there's that one so that is how you do this super simple technique good way to use up like weird papers you know what I would also do this on oh I'm glad I, yeah muddy pages this I used to soak up some mud from some spray inks that I kind of overdid <laughs> and so I've got several of these muddy pages but this might actually look cool oh, I wonder if I put like metallics over it oh, copper maybe oh yeah so see lots of possibilities for using up lots of just weird background papers that you have your drop papers this would be super cool on drop papers muddy papers these transfer papers or just regular paper whatever you want and then you can get some really fun chippy painty backgrounds okay um hope you enjoyed it that's all the end